his name is John C. <laughs> Rugby is incredibly violent, and it frequently results in severe injuries. However, rugby is also a stunning sport that demands extremely high levels of athletic ability. There is a lot of hope for rugby's future, particularly as an amateur sport. Rugby is now more competitive than ever because of the numerous events held across the world. However, administrators have long been concerned about rugby's ferocity. In this video, we're going to show you some of rugby's most brutal moments of all time to make you realize how violent this crazy sport is. Stay tuned! Fritz Lee Nearly versus Luke Hamilton's Luke Hamilton was nearly beheaded by Fritz Lee during the ITM Cup. Lee received a straight red for what was an extremely risky shot, but fortunately, Hamilton remained unharmed and continued to play. Has been absolutely After being ejected from the field during County's Manuakau's 40-24 ITM Cup victory against Northland, Loose forward Fritz Lee faced a protracted suspension. This is the worst-looking hit you will witness for a while. Alassana Tulagi vs. Lewis Moody At Twickenham in 2005, England played host to Samoa in a game that set a record score with the visitors losing 40-3. However, the game was tainted by a few unpleasant occurrences in the second half. Mark Cueto was knocked out in the air with five minutes left in the game due to wing Alassana Tuliagi's careless challenge. Cueto challenged to Liagi, which led to a large melee in which Lewis Moody entered and started throwing blows. And he's lost it now with Tuilagi. He's fed up, and I don't blame him. And now the punches are raining in, and it's a free-for-all as both sides try and... Referee Mark Lawrence was forced to dismiss both Tuliagi and Moody from the game. Bruno Andreas Doglioli's violent tackle on female referee. The captain of Serie A team Rangers Rugby Vincenza, Bruno Andreas Dolioli, uncharacteristically attacked referee Maria Beatrice Benvenuti from behind. Sam Gilbert vs. Michael Hooper In the Super Rugby Pacific match between the Waratahs and Highlanders in Dunedin, Sam Gilbert was sent off for a reckless tackle on Australia captain Michael Hooper. Michael Hooper, and yeah, Nick Berry. He's milked oh, yeah, the two. Man, above the horizontal, come down, is careless. The Highlanders lost 32-20. The event occurred when the scores were tied 7-7, but they would soon alter. Soon after Gilbert departed the field, the Waratahs took advantage of the chance to punish the 14-man Highlanders team by scoring two tries. Horrific leg break of a South African schoolboy. Martin Gronewald, a South African youngster, broke his leg in two places over the weekend while playing in a game that was broadcast live across the country. Now Beswick sending it out. <laughs> Penalty has... Oh, oh. Well, we're going to have to stop the broadcast because that's a bad injury. We have expert medical help here. Although it was horrifying to witness, the 18-year-old underwent surgery and made a full recovery. The lock was tackled by his opposite number, and when his right leg went under the weight of the two players, it broke severely in two places below the knee. For a schoolboy, it is indeed very violent. But what about you? What do you think about rugby and the violence associated with it? Let me know in the comments. That's all for now. For more similar videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Also, do not forget to click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.